Hello all, welcome to this video tutorial on how to um, model a PV cell using a MATLAB or Simulink. So, so I'm basically explaining in this video that how to model a single diode model of a PV cell. So this is for only the beginners, the first timers who are trying to model a PV cell so that I uh, it would be of some help. So this is the equivalent circuit as you already might know that this is the current which is generated by the PV cell, the total current, the photo current, photo, uh, photovoltaic current and this is the diode which is the representation of the PV cell, the junction, PN junction of the PV cell. So this is the diode current ID and this is a shunt and series resistances, these two RS and RSH. So these two will be the resistances which are approx approximated resistances of their body resistance of the PV cell and this I and V are the terminal voltage and the current so here these are the basic equations you must know before proceeding for the uh, design of PV cell in MATLAB so this is the basic building main equation of the current the total output current I is given by the IPV the total current supplied by the PV cell minus this diode current and also these drops the current the current which is the shunt current which is gone so remaining current will be the I so this will be the expression for I and VT is given by this so this is the ns into kt by q k is a Boltzmann's constant t is the temperature q is the charge of electron so ipv is given by this equation i naught is given by this equation i naught n which is there is given by this equation so all these equations you can find in any standard paper on modeling of pv cells so once you know and understood all these equations you can start uh, writing these things in the m file so there this is the m file so where in which i have tried to write all these equations so first i have uh, writ uh, written the all constants k uh, the boltzmann's constant charge of electron short circuit current this is there on the panel open circuit voltage k v k i are the co voltage constants and <laughs> number of series cells connected this is the operating temperature you can uh, this is 25 is the nominal and this is the operating chain you can change it to 35 40 or 20 30 you can do it later on and this is a nominal irradiance this is ideality constant of the di diode this is band gap and this is the operating irradiance you can change this to 1200 or 800 600 whatever you want so these are the series and shunt resistances this will be available you have to calculate uh, they won't be given by the manufacturers so the equations i have put it in this form vtn and all these equations you can just compare these equations this i naught n is given by this this i naught n is given by isn by exp exponential of this so this is given by this i naught n by this and i naught is i naught n into t by t n whole cube exp uh, exponential of this this is all these things are given all these equations I have written here so these are the things and this is i uh, vector i have initialized an array so and i have initialized with it with a zero the first element i made it zero because as you can see the last uh, this equation so in this equation everything ipv i naught everything we can calculate the only things we will be left with are v and i so as you can see i is there on both right and left hand side so you have to initialize i with some value so that for the next values we can use that to calculate so uh, for the for doing that so as we know at open circuit v is 32.9 i will be zero so for the first time i am doing that that by putting this i is zero and v i am starting from either you can start it from 32.9.10 0 or you can start it from the open circuit if you want you can start from 32.9 and <laughs> reduce it by 0.1 and up to 0 so that you can plot the complete vi curve from open circuit to short circuit condition so this will be open circuit this will be short circuit and this will be the i calculation where i have been ipv minus this equation you can see this first equation ipv minus this thing i have calculated separate here so i have been i will be calculating and storing this i have i put one and i'll be increasing it so that in the i vector i'm going to store the values of i so as well as in the v1 i'm going to store the values of v voltage and in the power i'm going to calculate v into i of i so that i will calculate every instant i'm calculating the power here so i'll be increasing i in order to store the values so uh, at the end of this loop the p and v1 vectors will be one uh, value less than the i so in order to make both equal so i have added the last uh, term once more again so that to make it equal 
so I've made the transpose here so that we can plot it uh, easily so I'm plotting here v1 and i now you can see if I run this now this is the vi curve of the pv cell as expected so this will be the open uh, this will be the uh, short circuit condition this will be the open circuit condition so there the voltage is 32.9 and here the uh, current is 8.21 so this is what is the uh, vi curve of the pv cell so now if you want to plot the pv so you can simply plot remove this and include this pv so plot v versus p and c so this would be the pv curve of the uh, PV cell. So now this maximum power is around 200 uh, watt here uh, at this around 27 26 volts. So this will the voltage corresponds to maximum power and <coughs> So this is how we can generally do uh, by using the mathematical modeling of the PV cell We can plot VI and the PV curve for the PV cell. So now if you want to convert this to a Symbolink model so you can there are two ways of doing this you can write either directly the um, equations in the simulink blocks or you can use a ma embedded matlab function so there in this function you can write your function in inside it so here instead of putting extra loop inside this uh, math file so you are going to put the loop outside so that you are going to calculate the value of uh, this v and i every time so you'll be getting and you'll be plotting the xy graph in order to plot the v pv and the vi curve so here for doing that there is a this repeating sequence just acts like a loop like uh, yes just what we have done the for loop so similarly this lookup table is going to give for every value of this it is going to generate me a value of voltage so this voltage i'm going to give the current i'm going to get anyhow so this value it, this requires some pattern that that's what we have done for the loop value from v voltage from uh, 32.9 to 0 0.01 in decreasing order up to zero so that's what we have to give it to uh, this uh, this loop then only it is going to work so i have to put this voltage so for the lookup table so as oh sorry so now if you open it so this is what are the breakpoints 1 2 3 30 these are the points I have given and based upon these things it is going to access the values of this so now if I run it so it is asking but you can remove this if you don't if this is not required for us so now you see so now you can see that the same VI curve and the PV curve for the same PV cell now this thing you can later if you want you can connect use a ca constant current source just uh, I have removed so this constant current source connected this I to this and now you can at these two terminals you can start connecting your normal electrical components like resistance inductance and capacitance whatever you want and you have to use a power GI power GI block whenever you are using this kind of extra arrangement uh, this kind of electrical uh, elements you are using this thing this block is a must I think you already must you already know this so this is one way of doing it and the other way of doing it is directly write the equations in terms of a blocks in terms of blocks everything the equations I put it in this way so that you can uh, do the simulation so both ways are same only so here the same thing this block represents the PV cell the current is the same block which we have seen uh, just back so here I'm connect I have connected this constant current source control current source so this thing I have connected a resistor here and this diode is an extra diode this is not the uh, diode which we have seen in the one diode model okay this is different that is different so now if you run it now you can see so this is the VI curve and this is the PV curve so it is also giving us the same result just as expected uh, just we have seen for the different cases so this is the way we can either simulate or you can mathematically implement so if you want to check for the different irradiations and different temperatures use it increase the temperature and see what you are getting so see oh oh see it is just uh, varying or uh, distorting but it, it should not mm. 
so similarly you can just uh, change I mean there may be some errors you can go through and check for all the cases so for your future work so just I'm increasing the radiation and, uh, and see let us see so this is how the power is slightly increased previously it was 200 now it is 220 so you can increase or decrease the radiance so that you can get uh, I'm decreasing the radiance and see the power is decreased it is around 160 150 now so similarly this thing you can do it on any model you can increase the decrease the radiance and the temperature in all models so this is how you can uh, actually model or simulate the PV cell so hope uh, this video helps you in uh, in this regard so thank you for watching